Hey guys, now yesterday I sat through a little bit of an interesting movie. And that is The Legend of Tarzan, which I'm not sure, and you can correct me in the comments, if this was one of during the years where there were a bunch of double movies. Now, this one is looking at a grown up Tarzan who has been asked to go back to the Congo to potentially um, save the indigenous people of the Congo. And he goes back reluctantly, um, but he does go with Jane, his wife, and a, another, and, a, and a doctor. And they find that one of the, um, one of the people that have sort of asked um, Tarzan to go pretty much is really, really um, just wants the diamond, the diamonds that are in the locate in the Congo, and is sort of using Tarzan to benefit him. And one of um, and the person that he has got in contact with is actually this person responsible for killing Tarzan's mother. And when I meant by mother, I meant his ape mother. And I don't want to go any, anywhere further with this. Now, this is, this, this, it stars Alexander Skarsgård. Now, if you don't know that name, you probably know his old man from the Thor franchise. And his brother is actually Bill Sarsgaard from the It franchise. Now, I know Alex specifically from his work on True Blood. He played Eric on that show. And of course, the actor who is playing his wife, Jane, I thoroughly already know from her work as part of the Suicide Squad. And a fellow was he the brute. And the doctor that they cap comes with them is also a member of a elite team that is Samuel Jackson. Avengers, anyone? So, and I believe the got and we've got Christian. I've got um, um, Christian Walsh, who most people would know from his work. I believe it is uh, Django Unchained. It's got it's got a few other movies as well. And I believe the guy that's playing um, his um, African's counterpart, I recognise. I think he was in um, get the uh, Guardians. Uh, at least I think Guardians One. I think um, this is such a beautiful um, photo um, pictured movie. Um, I think the way that they sort of had it as though they had flashbacks to um, seeing um, Tarzan or John, as he's also known in this movie, growing up. I thought was really, really didn't take away from the story when they did flashback to um, he, um, John and Jane's um, courtship, uh, back to when uh, Kiara first um rescues Tarzan a little bit of Tarzan's parents that really didn't um I felt take away from the movie and I know a lot of people would say flashbacks um can hurt a movie I think it's they did it they didn't like constantly use that as a gimmick um which I thought was really sweet um so it didn't really take away from the storyline. And I think um, the way Alex sort of had to play the duality of this character, keep him keep trying to keep up his British uppetness and then also try and be the wild man we know Tarzan to be. I think if Alex didn't, if he didn't have that training in True Blood where he had that, duality for one um, particular season. I think it 
it could have hurt the movie. I think Alex did a fantastic job keeping that wild man in check. And I think um, I think that he did a great job doing that. And it was really funny for me watching Margot sort of be that damsel, like damsel in distress. I felt was a little bit funny because I know her specifically as playing a strong, strong woman in the Suicide Squad. So seeing her playing a damsel was a little bit off-putting. But she balanced off Alex very, very well. And then I think Alex's relationship with Samuel, they also really well balanced off each other. I think this movie was so well cast um, that I think it really well, well done. And you, and I think the, the animation, there would have had to have been animation for the animals, the way they were acting. I think really well um, connected. I think it could have been really jarring, but I think the way they handled it was so well done. And I think you almost forgot that you were looking, you were almost looking at a photo real animal. You almost believed it was an actual animal. And the way they sort of connected like nature versus the humans, I think really well paid off like the colonists didn't really understand um, the natives' connection to the land and how they um, connected. And I think Tarzan is a, is a great sort of example of sort of nature versus nurture sort of um, debate, which a lot of people have. Um, this one really um, took that idea and really ran with it, especially when you see him at the start of the movie back in England. Um, the fact that he was drinking raw eggs, like that's a bit bizarre. Um, uh, when he went to see Jane at their house, he had a bunch of people, he um, did, he put his hand on the ground. I thought that was really well handled. Um, but when he went into the jungle, you could really see Alex um, and Tarzan really breaking, breaking out, and re you really see, um, you really see the animal nature of Tarzan really come out and really come to the fore. Especially when you started um, stripping, that sounds weird, stripping off his English clothes, and he just wore a pair of like his pants. Um, you could really feel that he was sort of stripping that um, Englishness out of him, and um, he was connecting back with that nat with that nat that um, familiar nature. I thought him taking off the English clothing very slowly throughout the movie, and him listening to. Um, listening to nature and really understanding nature, I thought was so well um, handled and really well put together. Like you could believe that this man has been with in this environment for, I would say maybe two good two decades. You can really see it as he's taking off the English clothing, he's coming back to his nature and, I thought that was so well done and I thought bravo Alex like um I thought well handled he could have this could have been a oh yeah I've done this on true blood I've been half naked but they handled that so well um the metaphor for taking off the clothing was so there. Um, I know I'm rambling. Um, have you sat through The Legend of Tarzan? Please write it down in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I cannot wait to see what other gems I find. Ciao.